California CDL passenger vehicles test. Question 1. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 2. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 3. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Off the regular route Dark and poorly lighted The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer as safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 4. The reason you must be alert for road hazards is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 5. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 6. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher. Signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 7. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 8. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, hydraulic jack, Fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Answer 
fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 9. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 10. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 11. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 12. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route. The next stop. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 13. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards. 100 feet. 50 feet. 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 14. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 15. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 16. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 17. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely.
The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 18. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 19. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 20. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 21. How many folding all seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 8 4 Answer 0 Question 22. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 23. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 24 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 25. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 5 feet. 10 yards. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 26. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 500 pounds 
100 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 27 How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural farm workers 4 8 0 6 Answer 8 Question 28 Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 29 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 100 feet 10 yards 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 30 If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus Not allow them to do it Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 31. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 32. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 33. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 34 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted The next stop Off the regular route as safe as possible, or the next stop. Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 35 How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero 
four, eight, six. Answer. Zero. Question thirty six. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Always. Answer. Always. Question 37. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Four. Zero. Eight. Six. Answer. Eight. Question 38. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 39. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 40 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 41. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 42. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs stickers or marking near it always have a red door light turned on be secured when the bus is being driven all of the above answer be secured when the bus is being driven question 43 you must not allow rider to stand in front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 44. Your bus is disabled.
the bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 45. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 46. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6. 4. 8. 0. Answer. 8. Question 47. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 48. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 49. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 50. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 51. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6. 8. 0. 4. Answer. 8. Question 52. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour.
you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 53. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 54. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 55 You must not allow rider to stand Between the wheel wells Within two feet of an emergency exit In front of the standee line Within two feet of any window Answer in front of the standee line. Question 56. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 57 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is As safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. The next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 58. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 59. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 4 0 6 Answer 0 Question 60 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. 
Question 61. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer 8 Question 62. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Be secured when the bus is being driven All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 63. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 64 When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 20 15 Answer 15 Question 65 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 66. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 67. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 100 feet 50 feet 10 yards Answer 50 feet Question 68. Never refuel your bus With any of the windows open In a closed building with passengers on board with a higher grade of fuel without a static chain answer in a closed building with passengers on board question 69 when inspecting your bus you must make sure that rider signaling devices are working Emergency exit handles are secure. 
Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 70. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route. The next stop. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 71. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 72 how many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer 0 Question 73 if the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare Not allow them to do it Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus Instruct them to sit next to an open window Answer Not allow them to do it Question 74. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 75 You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 76. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only if the distance is less than 500 yards by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders by another bus with its four-way flashers on Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 77. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. 
Question 78. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer as safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 79. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 80. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Zero. Six. Four. Eight. Answer. Eight. Question 81. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Be secured when the bus is being driven Always have a red door light turned on All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 82. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds Answer. 500 pounds Question 83 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change Right after starting the lane change After completing the lane change All of the above Answer all of the above. Question 84. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.